is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I like how you're laughing too. Well, it's funny. Dragon Quest XI. Now, I have an update regarding the playthrough, the first piece of good news, okay? is that I finally got around all the bullshit copyright issues on YouTube. I was unable to upload the story conclusion of this game uh, the other day because Square Enix claimed the video, well, not didn't claim it, excuse me, they struck the video, blocking it for copyright reasons. So no one could actually see the end of my run through the main story of the game because it was blocked, okay? I had to edit this video three times last night. <laughs> wow. To cut out enough so that the stupid thing that they had put into YouTube wouldn't catch the freaking video. But it is finally live as of now. Whoa. And once Thanksgiving hits, I will start decorating for Christmas. We will have a month of Christmas decorations here on the streams. Um, some people have asked, will there be a Christmas mascot? The answer is yes. I have found my Christmas mascot. There will be a Christmas mascot here on the streams. Most will probably a potion for the Halloween. We're going to have somebody new for Christmas. Okay. Well, so number one, some people have asked me, am I going to formally review Red Dead Redemption 2? No. No. Laziness. I didn't have to, you know, yesterday, uh, I, I had to switch over to another game during the stream. I'm not, I don't do formal reviews anymore. I don't know how people still don't understand this. <laughs> I haven't done a formal review since earlier this year. I have no plans on doing a formal review of Red Dead. I just don't. Um, you know, that era has passed. I'm a live streamer, guys. I may be, I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. I think people need to realize that I'm a live streamer, not a a YouTuber slash game reviewer anymore. Um, if you want to know my thoughts on Red Dead 2, I gave them many, many times during the course of the playthrough. I gave it during the credits. I even tweeted about it. Yeah, people are still like, where's your review? I'm like, are you fucking blind? <laughs> he's toxic. Every fucking day, he's toxic. Every day he's here, he's toxic. I give you my opinion on the game a million times. So, no, I'm not doing a formal review of Red Dead 2. If you really want to know... Ultimately, how I think it stacks up against the other games of the year, watch my Game of the Year awards later this year. And then you'll get your answer because I'm going to rate my top 10 games, okay? In particular, today's a special day for me because I get to play a JRPG that normally other content creators usually wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. Name another content creator who does this for a living who would play Dragon Quest for 60 hours. Maybe you could name five of them, you know, if that. Um, I love Dragon Quest. I love turn-based RPGs. I love classic JRPG style, and I'm having a lot of fun with this game, so thanks for hanging out with me. Poopster just resuffered the third month in a row and said, if you get the new merch, will you model them for us? Yes. I was actually talking about this on my earlier stream. I actually would like to get two of the shirts. I want to get the Tis the Season shirt and the, the Santa shirt. But I can't really afford it right now. I can't afford to drop like 40 bucks on shirts uh, <laughs> right now. When I just bought Hitman, I just bought Spyro. Next week, I'm probably buying Battlefield. The week after that, I'm probably, I am buying Darksiders 3. And the week after that, I'm getting a Smash. There's no way I can afford to drop $40 on shirts right now. So I guess I'm not going to be able to get them in time. Yeah, Ratty Bag, it does suck that I can't afford my own shirts, but the thing is, here's the thing, I really don't need shirts. I have a ridiculous amount of t-shirts. As you know, during my earlier streams, I usually wear one of the nice shirt character shirts or gaming shirts, and after I shower, I just throw on, like, an undershirt, you know? But, um, in general, I have so many shirts. I have, like, a, a drawer overflowing with t-shirts and shit. I really don't need any other t-shirts. It's nice to advertise, but for me to just superfluously waste $40 on something that necessarily I'm not gonna get anything out of, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Dragon Marvel. What? Ratty Bag says, I know what you mean. It would be cool, though, to see if, if the shirts fit, how they fit and stuff. I agree. When I wear my own shirts on streams, you get to see them in person and see how they look in person. I think that's the reason why a few people actually bought the 10th anniversary shirts, because on Teespring, I, eh. But you see it on a person, like, oh, shit, that's actually kind of cool, right? The Snake tipped me a dollar. It's funny how Almighty Tevin is streaming your stream and he has a thousand viewers. It's not funny. It's illegal. <laughs> it's not funny. It's illegal. It's also funny that everyone on his stream is a toxic piece of crap. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. And hilarious that I do this for a living, right? And I make way more money than Tevin, even though I have way less viewers. Let's think about that for a second. 
All you're getting is salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, again, my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. I need a sip. Let's really think about that for a second. Think about who actually has quality followers and who's just a bunch of dumb fuck kids who are just doing illegal shit and trolling and shit, you know. It's two completely different kinds of audiences. I will forever love my audience uh, over that kind of audience. Stupid, toxic, immature shit. Potential collapse detected. <laughs> All I can taste is the saltiness. Hoopster safe. says, I hate when people don't want to help build a community but instead destroy what other people have built. That's correct. And it's funny because, again, there's so many people who... All they do is bring down others, yet they wouldn't exist if those others weren't successful in the fucking first place. You know what I mean? <gasps> oh my god! I, uh, <laughs> I have a thousand people on my stream making fun of someone. Yeah, but if that person wasn't successful, you wouldn't exist. You're a professional ass, basically. All you do is talk shit about people. How is that any fucking value? And why do you think you have a, so many immature fucking people on your stream constantly? And you could never hold an intelligent fucking conversation if you wanted to, because the collective IQ in there is probably about negative 77. You know, it's like a vacuum of fucking stupidity. <laughs> I, I would never want to do that. I want to be someone creative who creates something positive and fun. I don't want to be someone who's always focused on toxic shit. Fuck you. You're a liar. But, you know, some people, they, some people will just get by however they can. When you have no fucking talent, you know, you have to get by however you can. If it means you bring down others who have talent, go ahead. You know, that's what they fucking do. After all the shit... You know, that I've been doing, been around for over 10 years. I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't matter how many assholes there are out there who are going to try to jump on my coattails and fucking try to make a name for themselves, I'm making fun of me and doing stupid shit. Enemy. None of it matters. None of it matters. I'm not going anywhere. I will still fucking be here in the morning. Just remember that. <laughs> I, no matter what, I find a way. I find a way to survive. Phil is like the amoeba. Or, you know, he's he, the, the rat. The creature that... Even if there were a nuclear apocalypse, Phil would survive. And trust me, a lot of people are very happy about that because they want to keep making fun of me and doing stupid shit in regards to me. And if I ever were to go away, where the fuck would they be? Who the fuck would give a two shits about a Tevin if I didn't exist? Zero! Ah, <laughs> uh, the salty tears. Salty, salty tears. Mr. Sure if you guys just said, ouch. Nah. Well, hey. Being honest, I mean. Someone brought it up, I'll be honest about it. I don't talk about it unless someone brings it up. The sad part is that people are so dumb, they believe the shit that those negative people say. That's the sad part. Like today, perfect example. Today, you know, Stan Lee passed away. Rest in peace again to Stan the Man Lee. You know, really, I was always a huge fan of his, and especially Marvel Comics and the stuff that he did. Um, we had, between my pre-stream earlier today, and the first probably two hours of gameplay, all people were talking about coming into the stream was, Stan Lee, what's your favorite, uh, what favorite memories of Stan Lee? Like, we had a really fun, interesting conversation regarding Stan Lee and Marvel Comics and everything for about two hours straight, Okay. Someone takes something out of context during during that two-hour discussion, positive about Stan, and says, oh, Phil laughed about Stan, Stan Lee's death. Look at this, this clip. Huh? And you look at it, you're like, huh? Sorry for fucking what? I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. That's, if you even look at the clip, that's not even what's in the clip. But these idiots are spreading it that Phil did this toxic thing, he laughed at Stanley's dad. What? Did you watch the stream? For two hours we were talking positively about what a great guy this guy was. And how, how much he meant to so many different people. And to take something completely out of context to just to make it negative, that's the shit they do. And then you have people, well, Phil's a toxic streamer. No, you actually make, you try to make me look like that when that's not the reality of my streams at all. Because you want to have a good, a jolly laugh on fucking Tevin's stream, right? And you're a fucking loser. It's so ridiculous. My mouth is full of salt. And that that's absolutely correct, Android. You're right that that if someone is illegally restreaming my stream, those are my views. You're right, they are. What? What? Ooh. <laughs> It's just that they want to stay on that negative stream and do negative toxic shit they know they can't do here. So, but those would be my viewers if that guy wasn't, wasn't allowed to do it. But that's the sad fact is that YouTube doesn't give a fuck. <sighs> He's breaking YouTube's terms of service every single day doing it, but YouTube will not shut him down. I've, you know, and people have told me they've tried and they ignore it. Because they can never catch it live because he doesn't leave the streams public. So there's no evidence of him doing it. And YouTube takes like days to respond to a, a, a report. So by the time that they actually look into the report, there's no evidence of any wrongdoing. It's a fucking joke is what it is. So I think we've talked long enough about the asshole. Let's not extend this fucking conversation. Let's change the subject. 
There's many, 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 many other positive, productive things we could talk about that besides wasting time on a, a fucking no-life idiot, who, by the way, will not be around forever. He's going to get shut down eventually. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Once YouTube finally starts being lazy as fuck and actually abides by their own terms of service. Ow! Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you just go to bite mommy? Wow. All right. So you see what pigs can do. Yep, I'm toxic. Then we'll see how many of his fucking thousand followers follow him over to fucking Mixer. <laughs> Mixer or Hitbox or some other fucking place no one ever watches anybody. It was 100% salt. Third Eye says, I'll say this, hey, will never unite people if you know who stops attacking you, then all of his followers will just find their next Hitler. It's true. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm Hitler. That's right. This is the United States of Phil. I am the supreme being. I make the rules and what I say goes. Uh, this is not a place for you to stand on your soapbox and complain about censorship and freedom of speech because the bottom line is you don't have freedom of speech. This is my land. <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. It's like I said, that guy would be nowhere without me, right? And then... Everyone who's negative, they wouldn't, like, support him. They'd move on to someone else. That's how they are. It's a crowd mentality of toxicity. That's how they operate. Poopster says, I'm amazed you stay positive and you push forward despite so many obstacles and all the negativity and shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't care. I just don't care. I know you're lying. As I said, 10 years. And that's the thing. In 10 years, how many people... What the fuck? Hey, Wilbur. <laughs> In 10 years, uh, how many people have made fun of me? How many people have been negative toward me? How many people have hated on me? And I'm still here. And nothing is- I'm still here, I'm still doing what I love, I'm not gonna go anywhere because of these fucking fools. Yeah, how many people who've done that are gone, and no one talks about them anymore, right? I love begging, and I love it. I love doing this for a living. Yeah, that's the way you gotta look at it. Oh my god, the Wolverine Toy Story? There is no Wolverine Toy Story! It's something that's completely been over-exaggerated by dumb fucks. Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> 1,800 milligrams of sodium. With, again, with this salt, salt, salt flavor, ugh. It's hilarious because I told this story once ever years and years and years ago on Ask the King or whatever. Then the haters turned it into like a meme that they talk about every year. And I actually told my dad about it. I was like, hey dad, do you remember when I was a kid, that Wolverine toy? He was like, yeah, I remember why. I was like, because some idiots actually think that that's like some big momentous part of like our, our relationship. When in reality, it's like a little thing that really didn't matter at all. And he had a good laugh about it with me. We're like, wow, people are actually that much losers, right? Yup, they are. They actually think that that fucking Wolverine toy actually mattered. <laughs> idiots. And salt, 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 90% of the time. I went to a comic book store one day with my parents and the Wolverine figure was there. And I turned to my mo mother and father and I said, guys, listen, I want that action figure for my birthday. So, please, what I would ask you, I've never asked you to do this before. We know how rare that figure is. We know we've been to stores endlessly and we've never seen it in the flesh. It's finally here in front of our faces. Please buy the figure now hide it from me for whatever for months until my birthday and give it to me on my birthday and so like one week two weeks three weeks in a row they still didn't buy it right week four we go back it's gone so my birthday came and passed and guess what my parents go we're very sorry philip but we couldn't find the action figure i said i told you to buy the figure why don't you listen to me like it was such a no-brainer all they had to do was buy it then they could have hidden it forever i would have never bugged them for it till my birthday i knew i was gonna get it on my birthday because they didn't buy it i didn't get it i did eventually get it but it was the second run and of course now it's a year later do you really think that something i wanted a year ago is as valuable as you know then but then i was already starting to move into other stuff and yes, I see someone asking in the chat. Yes, my parents did have the money to buy it. They were just fucking stupid. 
Human Noma cheered. He said, if there were a documentary about YouTube gamers, would you participate? It depends. It would depend on who's making it. How did? They, how exactly uh, did they want to cover me in the documentary? You know, it all depends. It all depends. I wouldn't. Just, I, let me put it this way. I, I wouldn't outright just say no out of nowhere. I would. I would consider it if it were an intelligent person doing it. If it were someone who were going to cover it fairly, and show it, you know, both the positives and negatives about my time on YouTube, then I would consider doing it. Poopsler says, I, th I think the Wolverine Toy Story is kind of cute. I can't believe that, you know, detractors make it into a big thing. I agree. Like, when I told the story, I wasn't telling it from any kind of a malicious standpoint. Like, I hold resentment against my parents for it or something. I don't. I told you to buy the figure. Why don't you listen to me? Three. It was just kind of a silly story. I remember this toy that I really wanted. I saw it leading up to Christmas over and over. And then I couldn't get it because my parents hadn't picked it up. Uh, in time, and it was sold out everywhere. And by the time they got it for me, I didn't really care about it anymore. And the whole point of the story I was trying to tell was, if you have kids, and you have the opportunity to get them a Christmas present they want, like, super early, get it for them super early. Don't wait, because then they'll be super disappointed with you. You know, if you promise them, promise them, promise them, you can get it, and then you can't. I was trying to help people who were growing up, you know, with some adv life advice from something that happened to me as a kid. People think, like, ah, feels like a titled little child. He wanted this toy, and blah, 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 blah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was a kid, this is the truth. When I was a little kid... My parents would take me to the toy store, okay? And, uh, and- OH SHIT! What the fuck? What the holy shit was that? Guy was fucking camping in the bathroom, taking a shit in the tub. What the fuck, dude? What? I was not expecting that whatsoever, dude. Anyway. When I was a little kid, and my parents would take me to the store, they, here's what they would do. You know how little kids get bratty and they want a toy, right? They want it so fucking bad. They, they oh, give me a toy, give me a toy. You know, I want a toy. And parents would be like, no, I can't get you that toy right now or whatever. And they'd be like, little brats would be all fucking pouty all day. When I was a kid, apparently, this is what my parents tell me, they would go to the store and they would say, they would take me right to the toy store first, or the toy department first at the store. And they would grab an, a, a figure that I liked and let me hold it the whole time. And I would look at it and, you know, kind of mess around with it, play with it if I wanted to. You know, don't take it out of the package, but just look at it or whatever. And I would be very pleased as they did all their shopping throughout the store to just look at that figure the whole time. And then at the end of the trip, they'd say, okay, Philip, you know, we can't get that today. Okay, I understand. You know, it's, it's a birthday or some special holiday coming up. Maybe I can have it. But I can't just have that just because we're at a store. You know, my parents weren't fucking rich where they could just buy toys every time I went to a store. And I understood that as a kid. And yes, I see someone asking in the chat. Yes, my parents did have the money to buy it. They were just... Fucking stupid. So they would actually put it back, and I would be okay. You know, now how many kids, you know, do you know that, that I guess we're, are like that? You know, a lot of kids, they're bratty. And, you know, they want that fucking toy no matter what. And if you don't buy that toy for them, they're going to fucking have a temper changer for the rest of the day. But I was never like that. I was like, I was literally the opposite of being like a brat when I was a kid. Because I understood my parents didn't have a ton of money, and they were doing what they could to do make a nice life for me. And I didn't want to be an ungrateful little shit, you know? That's how I always was. So for them to spin... Oh, fuck. For them to spin the story, but uh, for them to spin the story that, oh, because I didn't get a toy for Christmas, I'm so kind of like an entitled brat, and then they bring it up like a meme. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like the opposite of how I fucking was as a kid. But that's the thing. They make that shit, they literally make that shit up to, to spout this toxic narrative about me that has no foothold in fucking reality at all. Like I said, they took a clip out of context about my stream earlier today to say that I was basically laughing at the death of Stan Lee. That never happened at all. Once during that stream, it was two hours of us saying nice things about how, how much we all appreciate Stan Lee as, as a good person. And they take something out of context to make it seem like the opposite, because that's what they are, the scumbags. And it's so fucked up. Yes, please pass me the salt, Karmica. I need more salt. Definitely. <laughs> salt or no salt, you gotta have some salt. No salt, they end up being kind of bland. If you guys, are, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about... So what happened was today we were having really nice, fun conversations about Stan Lee and our experiences with Stan as, a, as a, a creator over the years, all the Marvel stuff that we were fans of. And someone in the stream chat, I forget his name, said, you know, Stan would basically, he, most people of his age, he was 95 years old when he passed away, if you guys aren't aware. Holy shit, I mean, he lived really long, right? Um, but anyway, 95, most people who are 95 years old would be content just to sit at home and do nothing. That's like me. Ree! Right? That's like me. Ree! Stan was the opposite. He wanted to be in all the Marvel movies. He wanted to be constantly going to conventions, meeting the fans, shaking the hands. He wanted to have a hand in all this stuff. Like, he was the ultimate active guy, even at his age. And the joke that someone actually made in the stream chat, which I laughed at, was... Gee, I wonder when people will start arguing about how he died. Maybe, maybe, you know, he was skydiving from five million feet and his chute didn't deploy. Or 
He was at a fucking Metallica concert and he got trampled in a random mosh pit stampede or something. You know, that's things typically you hear a 95 year old guy you'd never hear, but with Stan Lee, maybe that's what happened because that's the kind of lifestyle he lived. He was always an active guy, right? So that's really what the clip is. In context, but if you just watch the clip, it's like, yes, you know, haha, -ha, Stanley died today. Maybe he died, but his root cord didn't deploy, or he got stampeded at a, at, a, at a Metallica concert. If you just hear it out of context, you have no idea what I'm even talking about. But that's the thing, like, these people are fucking nut jobs, and that's what they want to do. They want to always make things sound like it's something that it's not. Salt. That's all I can taste is salt. But I'll be honest, all I can really taste is salt. Well, thank you, Himanoma, for another 100-bit cheer. He said, no worries, you know, Stan got much respect on my stream. I know he did. I know he did. I would never, especially of all the people, like, I'm a huge fan of Stan Lee. I wouldn't fucking talk shit about him ever, you know? Oniony, salty aftertaste in my mouth. Um, it's Tevin's fault. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.